So we had an offset um, in the um, in the output, and I had surmised that that was due to a mismatch between the uh, transistors, and we tried to match them. So I went and I read up uh, on the uh, website that I've been uh, that I got this uh, schematic off of the DIY operational amplifier, and he also suggests matching these two transistors. So I had that part right. And then he said that in order to get the currents equal, it's um, a combination of adjusting either R2 or adjusting R3. Um, now I don't know why adjusting R3 would make a difference, but he said that's what that's the one that he adjusted. So I thought, okay, I'll try adjusting that one. I, I sort of wanted to try putting a 15K here to equalize uh, some voltages and things in the circuit up here. I don't know if it would really make any difference or not. I might try that later. Um, but uh, there is um, a mismatch, and by changing the total current, I guess you can make it fit. <laughs> so that's what I did. So um, instead of the 3.3K resistor, I put in a, uh, uh, a potentiometer see here get everything in, in the circuit so I've replaced the 3.3 K with a 10 K pot it is a 10 turn so I have good uh, adjustability there and so we will uh, look at the output uh, with our voltmeter and I have both the input and the output to ground and uh, let's see now. How am I doing here? Let's see, the input is connected to ground, and the oh, the output is connected to um, the the negative input is connected to the output. So we have uh, uh, we have this we have this circuit here. So it's a, a unity gain amplifier, and so I have the input set to ground, and I'm going to take a look at the output. All right, we have the 10 turn pot. We're looking at the output. I have the input grounded, and I'm going to adjust the potentiometer, and that will adjust the bias current for the front amplifiers, and we're making it worse that direction. Making it, oh, there we go. Oh, it was quite sensitive. Uh, oh, now it's positive. Now it's negative. Uh, let's go up here and try to get it to zero. It is too positive now and we will make it zero or as close as we can. So 0 0.01, well we'll say 0 0.01 is close enough. So let's take the input and we'll connect it to plus 12. Hey, look at that. Now we're getting 11.8. I hit it to minus 12, we get a minus 11.2, so it doesn't work rail to rail, as most op amps don't, at least in the old days. So now we have an op amp that's centered on ground. Awesome! So that uh, uh, adding this uh, offset to be able to adjust that um, seems like the wrong place to be adjusting. It seems like the adjustment should be up here somewhere, but uh, it is what it is and it works, so um, we've uh, made an op amp with uh, adjustable bias. Uh, I looked at some schematics, say for a, a 741 op amp, which is one of the really, really old ones, and they have basically um, individual currents, adjustable currents in the two legs of the differential amplifier, and you can adjust those two and set the bias back and forth. And there's two inputs to the op amp, one from the left side and one from the right side here, the plus and minuses. And you can adjust the balance of those two in order to uh, to do this. Now why adjusting both at the same time works? I think it's because this is unbalanced. Uh, because this has a resistor and this doesn't have a resistor. Um, maybe by changing the current uh, you're able to shift the two. I'm not quite sure. 
I haven't thought about it very long. I just wanted to see if it would work or not uh, from what the guy suggested. And sure enough, it does. So if you want to make this thing better, you can adjust that resistor. And in fact, let's measure the new value of that resistor. Now let me uh, turn the power supply off so I don't blow anything up. And we'll pull out this uh, potentiometer and measure its resistance, how it's set right now. Okay. Um, forgot to push the record button, but <laughs> I have it working now. Um, so we have the uh, uh, 10K pot here. And um, I've done two things to the circuit. One is I wasn't happy with the low voltage that I was getting here. Um, because I would get a very low voltage here uh, uh, across this resistor. So I, I went ahead and I put a 22k here as well, so I'd get this up to a volt. Remember, this is operating at about a volt. Now this is operating at about a volt. And uh, so I can get a reasonable, uh, reasonable value across that resistor now. In fact, let's see here. Uh, we're volts. Let's look at those first two resistors. Uh, 1.2 volts. Oh, geez. So this diode's measuring 0.6. This diode's measuring 0.6. So we get 1.2 volts there. And so across the um, potentiometer, the voltage across the potentiometer is 0.9 volts. So we have about a volt. Yeah, about a volt across the uh, potentiometer, so that's good. Uh, so I have a better swing here. And um, I've adjusted the... Did I make sure that right? Let me make sure that again. That doesn't sound right. Sounds a bit too high. Sounds a bit... a bit too high. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 0.9. Let's say 0.9 volts across the... Uh, across the potentiometer, and it's measuring about 1.1 uh, .1 k, k ohms. So instead of 3.3 uh, .3 k ohms, we got 1.1 k ohms, and we have about a volt. So, uh, yeah, we're measuring up around 900 milliamps or something now. Let's see here. Let's get out a calculator. You can see that. Uh, so we have 0.9 volts. And we have 1100 ohms, so we have 800 milliamps. So now we have 800 milliamps flowing in that resistor, and everything seems to be um, zeroed out now. So is that the best way to adjust the current on the front end of this thing? Yeah, probably not. Probably could, could be a better design. But this is a very, very, very simple circuit. So uh, instead of 100 microamps, we're up to around 800 microamps now um, to make this thing work. Um, so probably a better value of R2, or some type of balancing between the two, some type of uh, better matching of the two transistors, um, would give you a better circuit. But um, at least we are able to zero it out now, and we have a, a functional op-amp that's uh, uh, calibrated for input offset. Um, we've measured it uh, AC-wise, it seems to operate just fine. Now we have more headroom since we've put it in the center. Before we were clipping, now we would have more headroom and everything seems to be, everything seems to be working good. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, hope you learned something. Um, op amps. <laughs>